G'day everyone. Um, just giving you uh, an update on uh, what I've been painting, what's in the on the bench, and um, yeah. So what you can see in front of you are some shield maiden type, or no, well, I think these arches are sort of meant to be like a village sort of defenders or something like that. Um, and these are, um, from what I understand, these are um, from Stronghold Terrain uh, in, from Germany. Um, they're certainly sold by them. And I believe that um, Futsal Miniatures are starting to carry some of their range as well. Um, um, I was talking over email to uh, another customer of mine, not the one I'm doing these for, and he said he'd received some from Futsal, or the Stronghold Terrain Miniatures, and they were actually cast in metal. Um, I'm not sure whether that's just some of their line are cast in metal, but these certainly are resin, and I have done a lot of um, the Stronghold Terrain miniatures in the past um, that were resin. Not my favourite material to work with. Um, very light and easy to have accidents with. Um, they'll be fine for display, and certainly probably good larger scale miniatures. Um, they can be a bit of a challenge when it comes to finer details and smaller figures. But, mayhap, nevertheless, let's have a look at what we've got, these ladies. Bow-armed, Viking-ish type defenders of the village. Let's see. There we go. Oh, don't focus on my hand, focus on the miniature. Yeah, just they've just got simple everyday sort of clothing. Just give you a spin of them. Okay, and then we've got um, three uh, shield maiden types here with, um, I class these as more sort of their fantasy figures basically. Um, now one of the things that they do, issues that often crops up with resin things like this is um, bent swords. And you can try all sorts of tricks, and sometimes you might have some success, sometimes not. But um, with um, you know hot water and things like that, I haven't done this. I've just tried to gently bend them. Or, but I think with metal weapons, it's a lot easier, I find, to get them into a reasonable shape. But um, two, the two on the end here, um, they have slight bends in their swords, and they're very you know, thin, um, you gotta be careful that uh, in trying to get them a bit straighter that you don't break them. But yeah, there's good details on these miniatures that you can certainly say that for them. They're, they're finely sculpted. <coughs> and they paint up nicely. Uh, okay. So I've just done simple hand painted shields. They don't have um, covered shields for some reason. There's no leather. I, I mean, I think most people, would, if there's, anyway, Dark Age Warriors would tend to cover their shields with leather. Otherwise, you kind of find they're going to fall apart a lot quicker if they're just boards without some extra reinforcing.
So I've done a mix of hair colours on all these figures, you know, some dark brown, a couple of red heads, a couple of blondes. Um, and then there's this lady here, focus. Chainmail's pretty well sculpted on there, it's not too bad. And you know, they didn't take me too long to do. Um, they're not there's not an overwhelming amount of like lots and lots and lots of packs and ropes and things like that and grappling hooks like there were in those um, other fantasy adventurer characters. So there we are. If we zoom out, you can see. All of them. One, two, three, four, five, all seven. And the other thing I've been working on very, very slowly, very slowly, are my camel core guys. Um, yeah. So three on uh, this end. I've had washers applied. Um, haven't started much yet to bring the colours back up and these three over here have a pretty much blocked in mostly um could do that bugle probably maybe some other little bits and bobs um but yeah it's taken me a while um but that's okay and uh, and then these three on the end will have their washers um then after that i think when I finish these, I think the plan is to do some Sudanese or Arab cavalry. What do they call it? Bagara? Bagara or Bagara? Uh, something like that. Cavalry. Um, I've got some of that in my to-do drawer. So that should be fun. Probably a bit simpler in terms of um, equipment and things. But yeah. That's just the update. Um, the next thing going up onto the bench, I think, um, for commission projects, uh, and it's part of this same project, uh, some, um, oh, there's some fantasy sort of, I think there's a fantasy knight, there's some sort of skeletal characters, monster sort of dudes, and there's one um, more adventurer type I think which is a dark sword mini which I'll, I'll probably leave that towards the end but anyway we'll see how we go all right thanks for watching everyone I hope you found that of interest um, if you've got any questions or comments just drop them down below um, thank you to all those people who recently subscribed so um, yeah really appreciate it um, I hope you find something of interest on the channel all the best everyone thanks for watching Bye.